Hey everyone, you're probably not like, no more, please, no more warm eyeshadow palettes. We are so tired of seeing warm eyeshadow palettes. And that is why I am doing this and not the Tarte Toasted palette, which has not yet been released. But this is sort of the little mini preview of it. Now Tarte tends to do this. It tends to do these, you know, big palettes that are more expensive, has a whole lot of eyeshadows in it, and then they sort of do a little mini that kind of goes with the theme of the bigger, more expensive palette. They did it with the Pro palette. They did it with the Tartlet um, In Bloom. They did it with the Tart Tartlet One. And they're doing it now with what's about to be their toasted palette. It is an all warm palette. Again, another all warm palette. And I didn't feel like I needed to get another all warm palette, even though it's pretty. Yeah, I like it. But I thought this kind of encapsulated the theme of it just right here without having to spend the money and get a huge giant palette. So these colors are not in the actual toasted palette that's coming out, but these are very reminiscent of what they will look like. Just like all the other little minis that they have like this look like the larger palette that they are related to. So it's sort of a sneak preview, if you will. I thought this was just cute. I love the stripes. I think it's cute. It has that same vanilla smell that they're adding to all of their eyeshadows these days. And I think it's just enough. It's just enough to do what I did today. It just accomplishes what it needs to accomplish in a small amount of space and not very expensive price. We have two metallics and four mattes in this palette. The mattes are super soft. They are super pigmented. They are wonderful. And the metallics, though they feel a little gritty, they are smooth when you're putting them on. I would definitely recommend the finger method for putting on this one color that's called Passion right here. It's sort of a pink metallic, but this one up here went on nicely with a flat brush. This one is a little bit grainier. So you can see them better. Here's your two metallics right here and the rest are mattes. Good, rich, chocolatey mattes there. So here is how I applied today. I'm going to start out kind of backwards and put this lightest color here all over my lid, uh, mainly from the crease and up, because this is going to be, I guess, my highlighter basically from this palette. So I need it all the way up to here, but then I want to have it as a base for my crease colors, because um, that way when you put a, a darker crease color on and it tends to skip and you have your little skip marks, um, this will prevent that. So I'm just going to put this lightest color on pretty much from the crease up. Once again, this palette has that wonderful tart vanilla smell. I think what I am going to end up doing though is putting some kind of highlight up here, um, like a highlighter highlighter, because this is just really a, a kind of a dull matte and it's quite yellow, quite more yellow than I thought it was going to be. Okay, I'm going to put a little in the outer corner as well to make sure when I put my dark color on, it's not skipping. Make sure it's not skippity skipping. Okay, I'm going to take this color called Hotline right here, a nice terracotta. Gosh, these are soft. These are so incredibly soft, and I'm going to sweep that through the crease and take it up kind of high because this is going to be the lighter of the two crease colors that I'm going to put on and I want it to show up peeking up here above the other one. Okay. Are we kind of getting tired of the warm, 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 and warm colors? I kind of am, but I just think this is just cute. This is just a pretty cute palette there. The mattes in here are so soft and of course the metallics are super creamy. Now look how nice this is blended. It's just, it's so soft. It's blended really easily. Also it helps with hooded eyes to get, to make a fake crease up high like this and not just stick right in your actual real crease. You want to make a fake crease kind of and bring it up there because once you open your eyes you're not going to see that color if you don't bring it up high. I'm going to take a smaller brush and um, go into this color called Playful down here. 
and it's just a taupe, like a tan cocoa. They are doing really nicely on the softness here, and I'm just putting this in the outer part of my crease. It's the inner part of my crease, but it's not the full length of it. It's the outer only, and that's going to sort of lead into my deeper brown, the deeper brown on here. Not a whole lot of colors in this palette, so I can't go too multi-dimensional, but that's okay. Okay, I'm going to do the lid color now. Um, there's two really nice lid colors on here. There's the color called Touch and the color called Passion. They're both metallic. This one's very peach and this one's more of a pink, different kind of. I'm going to put Touch on and then I'm going to put Passion in the very middle. I'm going to put Touch on with a flat kind of brush and then I'm going to dab Passion on in the middle with my finger because you know metallics do better with the finger method. I have a large lower lid down here and that really bothers me. I see so many ladies doing their makeup and they have just this really thin little line of bright popping color right there and I have this big wall. <laughs> this big wall and I just wish I had this little thin eyelid that I could just pop a little bit of like icy blue or silver or something on. I'm cleaning off my brush and I'm kind of blending through here where my crease comes down to meet my lid. Now we're going to do the outer corner. Oh, I just discovered a brush in here. I didn't know I had multitask eye brush by Real Techniques. That's nice. I'm going to use that. Okay, the color is called Snuggle. It's a matte brown. Popping that out here. Look how pretty this palette is turning out to be. And look how that blends. It's blending itself. I'm going to blend the edges a little bit, but look how it just sort of blended right in place. And it's pigmented. I mean, that didn't have to be... It's not a super dark brown. That didn't have to be just real pigmented. I wasn't kind of expecting that it would be super pigmented, but man, it's nice. Okay, not a whole lot of directions you can go with this palette. I wish they'd put a little highlighter in here, um, a brow highlighter instead of that one gaze color. Now I'm going to put this passion. Okay, I'm going to put that right there. Different. Okay, since I am going to be reviewing the Hourglass Absolute Strobe Light Palette. I'm going to dot a tiny bit. It's going to be in this video. I'm going to dot a tiny bit of one of the colors as my brow highlight because I can hardly stand to not have a brow highlight. Okay, so it's a cute little teaser for the upcoming Toasted Palette. Let me know if you guys think the Toasted Palette is worth getting. I think it's pretty, but I'm going to skip it, I think, on the whole warm issue. Wanted to show you guys another beauty from Hourglass. This is another one of their... I guess they do this every holiday, really. They do an ambient palette of some sort that has three of the ambient or strobes in it, in this case in a row and they are very expensive very expensive this is the ambient metallic strobe lighting palette and here are your three colors look at the big cake that of each color that you get the big domed up cake you get plenty of product in there and look at the shimmering shine so creamy looking a creamy shine i have two of these colors on today i'll show you how i put them on let me swatch them for you i already have an incandescent strobe light in the ambient and i'll show you what that looks like here it is it's very very neutral and very light here are the other shades in the palette Okay, so we have Absolute Strobe Light, Pure Strobe Light, and Lucent Strobe Light. At first, I was worried, and I'll show you how I applied these two colors today. I layered two of the colors. Oh my god, look at that pink one. Oh, 
I kind of worried that these were going to be a little sheer and not quite so out there metallic bang in your face, highlight types. I thought they'd be more of almost a finishing powder, all over finishing powder, but they really aren't. They turned out to be such metallic-y highlights. Look at my highlight today. Very pretty. I layered these two, this one first and then this one on top. Three very different colors here. That's what I like about it. Sometimes when you get a palette like this, you can get colors that kind of sort of, what am I trying to say? That sort of very much look alike, but these don't. These are totally three totally different colors. This one up here for us pale girls may be a little not highlighty. Um, it may be more of a blush top or something to sort of highlight your blush, make your blush just shiny if you've got a dull blush or something like that. But let me show you how these went on. Okay, let's try to apply one of these colors as a highlighter. I'm using my favorite highlight fan brush, which I need to get more of. These are actually very inexpensive. Going into Absolute Strobe Light, which is this light pinkish one here. The lightest one on here. I hope this is going to be highlightery and not, oh, it is. <laughs> I hope this is going to be highlightery, highlightery, she says. And guess what it is? Um, a lot of this ambient stuff, you know, I'm like, eh, it's not that bright. But this one is, wow, okay then. I was not expecting this. So, I'm going to put some gold right there, too. Wow, it looks like wet skin right there. Can you see how pretty that is? I already had a little bit of my Wet n' Wild um, Reserve Your Cabana right there, but this is, this is like wet skin. How pretty. So pretty, so much liquidier looking, and so much um, more of a wet skin look than I thought. I thought they were going to be a little bit more dusty and more of an all-over powder, but I'm glad they aren't because they end up being highlighters. I need more highlighters, you know that. I have ordered the Anastasia's uh, Beverly Hills, the new glow kit that has the color called Marshmallow in it. Anything that has a color called Marshmallow in it, I'm going to have to have. That one is on order. I ran into a product completely by accident today. I have on the most fantastic, light feeling, doesn't even feel like I have false lashes on, false lashes today, total accident, had never heard anything about them. I think they're the most wonderful thing, and I'm about to go order a whole case of them. These are the Kiss True Volume eyelashes um, that says they have tapered ends. I had to rip the box open to get the things out. So this is what the box looked like. True volume. It has a glue in it. I didn't use the glue today. I used my same old duo brush on. Love this. I feel like these are 10 bazillion times more comfortable than any I've ever worn. Okay, so this is what they look like. They do have a nice volume. They're a lot like sort of the Demi Wispies from Ardell, but man, they make the Demi Wispies feel like they weigh 10 pounds each. This feels like nothing. And false lashes bother me so much that I, I can't believe how I'm not feeling these on my eyes, but I'm just, I'm loving these. I'm gonna go order cases of them. I think I've tried these before, but I don't remember them feeling like this. I feel like I could wear these all day. That never happens with false lashes with me, believe me. Okay, so the Ant the Hourglass Strobe Light Palette. Love it. I love the Tarte Flirt little mini palette. I'm loving the little minis right now. Sephora's kind of doing this whole mini thing where they're promoting a lot of their little mini size products. That is such a good way to get some makeup that when you don't have any money going on and you're on a budget. I mean, we're all on a budget, especially for makeup. But when you're really, you know, you can't really spend on makeup, but you want a little boost, you can go get some of those little minis at Sephora. I'm loving that. So thanks again for watching as usual. Uh, everybody's uh, comments and support means so much. And um, I'll see you soon with more stuff. I have some Dior, Dior's holiday stuff coming. So I'll see you when I get it.